Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We are in the middle of of um, Miranda's loyalty mission, trying to well save her sister from her father. They're Game on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Let's say so. Uh, the game seems to be a little bit confused about how young her sister actually is. I mean, if she's 18, almost 19, she's hardly a child. Uh, oh, those are some mercenaries. We've been spotted. <laughs> Yes, perfect. Let's do some of this. Well, that was neither necessary nor very effective. Oh, well. I was also kind of hoping to get this guy. Come on. Well. Oh, hey, there is someone a bit closer. Come on, Prince, take care of those. Or not. That works. <laughs> there we go. Keep the bitch back. The cat is nearing the transport terminal. Oh well, fifteen hundred should be fine, right? <clears throat> well, there's one over there, completely inaccessible. I can take this one and wait for the next one. There we go. And there. So, of course, the next time I find credits, they are going to be unencrypted and it's going to be like 15k at once. But whatever. Um, right from here. Nothing on the radar either. Some explosives here. I'm not entirely sure where I shot those guys, I guess. Hmm. Well, some of them were on this side, but it seems like they dropped nothing. Okay, this is the way to go. Hmm, no clips at all. Well then. Wait. Have I not looked down this way before? I thought I did. Oh, and there's another one. Oh. Well, I guess I... Yeah, that one was mostly hidden by those boxes. Okay. Let's move on. And it was mostly full either, either way, so... That's good. It's completely full now. <clears throat> that kid I don't need. Oh, a new submachine gun. I'll take it. Or just submachine gun damage. Which is fine too. Engaging target. Or you know. Oh, what's that? Lucky mix, okay. Well they're pretty close, so use some of this. Excuse me. Uh, please reload. Hostile Thanks. forces have engaged. Okay, more coming. Hostile forces have engaged. Allied force it's casualty it's impact. Any more? Oh, what? Well, I saw something right there. Oh. Guess I did. Why are you... Not moving. Huh? Okay, that's weird. I mean, it's not just me, right? Uh, where's that locker? Oh, there. Yeah, well, 
Okay, it's not 1500, uh, or not 15,000, just 1500. Whatever. <clears throat> I mean, it's not just me, right? Um, enemy AI seems to have been breaking... Taking cover. Surprisingly often lately. Actually, never really experienced that before. Nothing game. Of course, I could be using the sniper, but. Might as well go with the pistol for now. Please don't move around so much, that would be appreciated. You're not dead. No, you're not. Gotcha! Unit member offline. I can take you. Well, things are exploding over there. Need some cover. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, that needs to stop. Who's shooting those? Is that you? One less. Oh no, it's you. Okay. This should rockets. scramble their systems. Ah, come on. Maybe I should switch over. Almost out of now, hit with everything! <laughs> Oh, nope. <coughs> That's there not we go. the best position here. That's decent enough, I guess. What Stop are you doing? Me. Well. Why don't you? Yeah, I can help. Very nice. That's exactly Hostile what I was thinking. Have engaged. Her get Oriana. Of course not. This is. No, oh, the radar doesn't say anything here. Interesting. I guess I'm off the grid. Oh, wait, I'm not. This is the way to go. Weird. Uh, well, that was a mess. Don't worry, don't worry, Miranda. I'm. I'm a pro. There. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Yeah, I'm not gonna go this way now. It's interesting that I have no uh, directional indicator on the radar anymore. I thought I was suco supposed to cross here and continue this way. Now, what's this? Oh, nice. I don't know. Okay, full on ammo, that's always good. 3000, sure. Better than nothing. There and there, conveniently. <clears throat> okay. Enemies in front! What? Really? Hmm. Where'd they come from? Did they follow us from the from that from the next room? Hmm. I guess they might have. Or maybe they just uh what the what was that? Some weird camera interaction? Strange. Um, maybe they just, well, basically spawned in for me entering Fire that room. Wilt. Hello? Oh, hi. There you are. Oops. Come on. Why do you want to? Ah, oh, come on. Not that fast. Hi. Hmm. <sighs> I 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it seems like even even if enemies' heads are poking out of cover ever so slightly, you, can, you usually can't hit them. Whereas in Mass Effect 1, that, that would cover. normally work. Oh, I mean, I can't blame him for playing defensively. Oh, hey, I did actually not kill that guy. Still left. Okay, I suppose I can approach. I'm surprised my companions Deploy didn't, combat drone. Hello, dead people. didn't Let's decide to close fire. in as they usually do. Uh. Uh, okay. I need some nice ones. Fine, let me. Nothing can stop me. Be one left? Yep. Good. There he is. Oh. oh, that works. Still two left? Oh, hey. That can't be the same Solarian, though. Pretty sure I killed the first one. Except maybe he was just knocked over. Seems to happen sometimes. Watch your poker! Well, no. That one's dead. And we have a fresh one. Let's see if on, they burn. Way. Enemy drone. Oh, oh, that's not nice that way. one. Light him up. Hostile <laughs> combat drone. Really? Heads up. Get the cover. Overload deployed. No, that works. I guess hitboxes are just maybe a bit more finicky than they used to be. So burning through a lot of ammo here, but that's okay. They should have dropped some cliffs over there. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Not fast enough. There we go. Is that it? Hmm. It's not. Well, whatever's supposed to be left there, I don't see it. Or them. Oh, hi. Heavies. Of course it's a... That's a launcher guy. A girl, I guess. Alright. I know I'm playing more carefully here than I need to. Technically speaking. But then I, I am supposed to be a sniper, right? And now that I have more ammo to work line. with. It feels more... Um, viable than ever. Or it's a weapon with a bit more of a punch. Maybe slightly less ammo to compensate. Would be nice, but quite happy with this for now. Okay, there's my free 3k credits. The enemies are definitely going to spawn in over there. Let's refill my reserves as much as I can before that. Okay, could have crossed here. Didn't I see something flashing over here? Sure, I saw some clips. Okay, well, there, there's one. Hmm. hmm. Hi there. Heck, PDA. Or another 3k credits. Sure. Well, let's take that. Hmm. 
Still, really, was there only this one jumble clip? Hmm, yeah, I guess that was the one that was I saw before. Well, that's a bummer. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. Thanks, Edie. Okay, and there we go. I should hit something. Like so. Wait. I missed him because he was rearing back and his hitbox was strange. Maybe. Or I was just you know, not aiming well. It's been known to happen before. Burn it! Eat some of your own medicine. If you could stop that, that would be much preferred. Ouch. Out that one. The cat has reached the terminal. He'll switch the family over to our transport. The cat. But that can't be right. Well, who would have thought? I mean, I'm sure it'll turn out that he had good reasons to switch sides or something. Or maybe they are forcing him. Okay. Okay, that should give me... I don't know if that Fills my ammo to full, but if not, then it's probably very close. Definitely good Maybe to know. the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation <clears throat> about Niket making a switch. Yeah, or he could actually have made. A or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it! Why won't the thing go any faster? <sighs> well, what makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Well, that is a good question, but, I mean, that was a long time ago, right? Things might have changed in the meantime. Did the cat know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, yeah, we, we'll, we'll know when we get there. I do hope for her sake that... I don't know, that it's some kind of misunderstanding. Although I, I'm, not, I'm not too hopeful. You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yep. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Right. If by word you mean... some bullets. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Hello there. Mary. This should be fun. Yeah, better run. What? You asshole. Niket, you sold me out. Hmm. Well, it seems that way. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... A baby? I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. Or did she steal her sister when she was actually still a baby? No, that can't be right. She said that... Um... Oriana was... was uh, well, clone... 
when Miranda was still a teenager. Maybe I'm mixing up the timelines here. Whatever. I mean, uh, I guess Niket does have a point there. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. Okay, so that they said was I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. I mean, he did betray his friend, which is... despicable, of course. Even if he, I don't know, even if he didn't know her motives, he could have, he should have asked her first, without, and not turned her in. Just like that. That's just, that's just low. Uh, well. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her, I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Huh. I like her. Are we still recruiting? <laughs> um, I'm afraid not. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? Yeah, I mean, at this point... I, it's really a matter of, of, of a definition. A better life? Sure, I, I mean... It does not seem like like their father is... has, has only their... His, only his, his daughter's best interest in mind. Even if they, they would be rich. Hmm. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. Does he not? I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. Well, it seems like she this would. This has to end like here, she does want My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe <clears throat> Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. And now, if you don't good. mind, I have a shipment to deliver. <sighs> You'll die for that, bitch! Yeah, not a very smart move. What? She's still alive. Prepare Impressive. To attack. Fire! And of course, what What the hell is up with this? Okay. The camera perspective was, was not helping. My shields are down! Yeah. Feel that bit? Watch the fire! <laughs> Nothing there can we go. stop me. Where's Anyala? Oh, well, here. Well, there's something that's good at taking off. Will you please take care of that guy while I take off her shields and armor while I'm at it, I guess. This works well enough, keeping her stun low. And I didn't even die. That one hit! Perfect. Enemy down! Yes. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. You're dead. Uh, well. Go back to Dipper. Is that it? There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. 
I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Yeah. Drink it. This locket has a picture of an Asari and a human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. Uh, find an Asari looking for a missing locket. Okay. Sure. Do I know such a person? Um, it does seem to ring a bell. I know there was an Asari standing. Uh. Yeah, I think I know who that refers to. Uh, back. Like an alien. Okay. Three K free credits. Something over there. Somewhere. Oh, I'm not oh, sure. I mean, I was close to actually using one. That's it, my full arm ammo yet. Oops, <laughs> nice sliding move there. Um, that one not so much. There we go. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> you live and learn. I mean, I guess I really she really had no reason to suspect him. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. I mean, he's dead either way. Would you really have preferred to, to kill him yourself? I kind of doubt that. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? Hmm. Well, it is not healthy. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. I mean, Shepherd. you can. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. Hmm. If you say so. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her. But, yes. You're right. I still have something. Thank you. Well, let's hope you actually still have her and are going to keep her, if you will. You're gonna work to work on that. <clears throat> no sign of eclipse. It looks like we're clear. Unlikely, but there she is. Let's be hopeful for now. She's safe. With her family. Come on. We should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. I mean, it's true. They don't really know each other, right? Miranda only organized that... that kidnapping and her... her sister getting a new life, but... did they ever meet? I don't know, man. <sighs> oh, what the she heck? doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here.
well, I guess that was a success. If not entirely clean, but that was very much to be expected. <clears throat> when would a Mass Effect mission ever go according to plan? Miranda's sister and her family successfully placed at location redacted. <laughs> That's better. Uh, mother's new job pays well, uh, well enough to ensure comfort and ease. We'll keep Oriana under, under observation for her, for her safety only. Miranda Lawson is too valuable to servers, and Oriana's well-being is easiest means of procuring loyalty. Miranda remains loyal to servers and now trusts Shepard. Okay. Huh. Not a full 1,000 experience. Hmm. Well. Uh, Miranda, Miranda Power are not right. Uh, new outfit for Miranda. Interesting. Hmm, I wonder how you activate that. Submachine gun damage, right? Uh, medic gel capacity. And 30k credits. Sweet. Oh, and that brings us back here. <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense that we would start here as opposed to, I don't know, so then he says, a transport hub or oh, something. Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. Yeah, so it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Right. Sorry, Just like in the ranks. Pleasure as always. Figured while I'm here, I might as well see if uh, she has anything new to say. We do have this locket to to deliver. I think that was very at the very beginning of the area, basically. Right as you. Volume Entertainment would like to respond to complaints about our upcoming film Blasto the Jellyfish Stings. The right as you leave Normandy, right. Over there. If this is the best you uh, money-wise, nah, we don't have enough but you're certain the to afford anything for now. Oh, the Twenty-five. Oh, that must be her, yeah. Sell at twenty-five. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you, thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Well, you're welcome. For the experience. Seven paragraph and... 500 credits. Oh well. <clears throat> Are you shorting prefabs? Okay, uh, journal. Cameras? Oh. I don't know why I know that, suddenly. I mean, it would make would have made sense for uh, for Kelly to tell me that Garrus has something, but uh, it's just popped out of no out of nowhere. Well, whatever. Well, I think I'm done here. I could go for the Lair of the Shadow Broker, but I am going to return to the Normandy first. I did it after eating. For the time being. Paid for new just to see if any new dialogues triggered. Or... Well, I, I suppose, if nothing else, Miranda is going to have some new things to say. Also, I want to look into her new outfit. What that even? How that even works? Hmm. Okay, the sequence is also not skippable, interestingly enough. <clears throat> Commander, you've Thank received you. a new message at your private terminal. As usual. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. 
Garrus received some news uh. that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Will anything do. else, Commander? Is there anything I you should have know? You have unread message. Right. Garrus, yeah. anything okay. else? That'll be I'll be here if you need anything. Except maybe something triggers. No? Nope. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Advanced training. Okay. Cool. Let's see what the messages are. It couldn't happen to you? It could happen to you, whoops. Elko's mail routing. Um, a drill lay in the ocean. Now, now we have a drill. We hear a drill mentioned all of a sudden. A drill lay in the ocean, dying from Capral syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The drill saw the wakes and eddies, and saw that sometimes the Enkindlers swarm alongside him, limb raking the water, limbs raking the water, while others, while other times he was alone. The drill saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? The Enkindlers answered, their light shining brightly, you were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found his Capral syndrome cured. Yeah, right. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the Enkindlers go, we shall follow. And where their light is where their light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish shall come true. Right. <clears throat> nice try. Concerns what concerns three keepers. Charman. Um I hope this I hope this address still works. Charman. Hmm. I promised you I promised to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything. And this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered, and based on my comparisons to some of that material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. Yeah, no big surprise there. Thanks anyway. Uh, you may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't made, uh, wasn't really made by the Protheans. I mean, yeah, we know that already. Uh, but I guess uh, Chorban couldn't know. I guess that must be the name of the uh, of the guy who made us scan the Keepers then. Not that I remembered his name, but... Um, well, anything, anyway, um, it may have been made by something far older with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic var uh, variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the, to see the, the drought years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time the signal went off world, uh, went off would be around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. Oh yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> I know the feeling. You changed my life from Jared, another name I don't immediately recognize. Greetings, Commander Shepard. The hour to Sony gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dantius Towers. Ah. Okay, cool. You helped get me out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to gun us down, and I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. Will do. The way he moved. One was dead One was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another snag, then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life, woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Salarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there is so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him, that beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. So if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts of that you think appropriate, I'd appreciate it. Sincerely, Jared. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I also definitely, definitely want to... Uh, see Thane in action sometime soon. <clears throat> Submachine gun damage, yep. And medigenal capacity, which is the final upgrade. Sweet. Uh, God armor upgrades. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more damage protection upgrade to unlock this. Okay. And one more tech damage upgrade. Oh, SMG extra rounds. Yes, please. Wow, that's something I really want for uh, sniper rifles. 
Although it doesn't seem like there is such a thing, unfortunately. Advanced training. Uh, through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Ah. Cool. Shepard can complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new bonus power, and any points already spent transfer to the newly selected bonus power. Any points already spent? Um, not entirely sure how this is supposed to work, but I'm going to try this. Um, review it. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's something I could learn. I, I thought... I mean, that only popped up for a second or so, so... Uh, sure. I guess. Oops, no. Yeah, there it is. Sure enough. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Crippling Slam doesn't really seem worth it. Increasing the incapacitation before dealing damage. Uh, well, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll, if I end up mixing this, which I'm not sure I will, um, it's going to give me more details. Maybe the duration increases significantly enough. Well, probably not. Whatever. Um... Some nice upgrades. Warren is still going to talk about his loyalty mission. Not sure if Joker's, if Joker has a comment on on loyalty missions. But I'm going to try to find out if he does. So, Commander, you figure Miranda would ever lighten up a bit? And I'm, I can't even finish saying it. <laughs> okay. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. <laughs> yeah, not much of an opinion there. So, how do you think we're well, doing? Normandy's good. Everything's upgraded and better than ever. Uh, if we're talking about right. the crew, you'd probably have to ask if... I assume was. everything is going well good for up now. Yeah, yeah. That's it for See now. See you, Commander. <clears throat> All right then. Well, we do have to talk to Garrus and Miranda, of course. Um, and we've also almost completed our crew, I guess. There is still one spot open, so I wonder who's th who that's going to be. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Yeah. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah. Unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Anything else, Commander? We'll talk, Commander. Later. I will take care of everyone's loyalty missions, of course. Um, is there any reason to go up? Not that I can think of. <clears throat> I don't think I have any new armor pieces for Shepard, or any new equipment for him. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. How do you think our mission Building is Building our forces. I should go. Of course. Uh, of course. Oh, I guess these are just done now. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. Oh, okay, cool. Did I not just not try that before? Hmm. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanor trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. Oh, they were okay. training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. 
You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who'd train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? No. Which doesn't necessarily mean that they can't do that. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us. Some of us from extinction. Oh. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. Okay. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. Now that doesn't necessarily sound like slavery to me, but... They <laughs> sound like wimps. I mean, they, they are giant jellyfish. What, what do you expect? This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. <laughs> really don't want to say that. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. Hmm. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes? Nope. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Well, that's rough. At least now we know a little bit more about the Drell. Kind of wish I didn't. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch. He dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. Okay. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. I see. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Hmm. Okay. Drell culture? Anything more? Nope. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Do you mind if I ask you a few Not questions? Not at all. Um... The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar, then yeah. they tell you that... I should go. I shall return to my meditation. That's just what we already knew. Interesting, though. Um... Drell culture. Eight centuries ago, the already arid Drell homeworld, Rakana, began its swift descent into lifelessness due to disastrous industrial expansion. Because their population was bursting at 11 billion, and they did not possess interstellar flight capacity, the Drell would have been doomed without the intervention of the Hanner. Following the first contact, the Hanner spent 10 years transporting 375,000 willing Drell to their own homeworld, Kanje. The remaining billions perished in the dying world, warring against each other for diminishing sources of water and food. Today, only a few thousand survive on Rakana in clusters never exceeding a few hundred. Now a cemetery world, Rakana's population can double during pilgrimage season. Drell have been part of the galactic community for almost two centuries. Most reside on Kanje, content to coexist with the Hanar. Those who leave Kanje tend to be adventurers, gifted by the Hanar with acute perception and interspecies body language. Solitary Drell travelers often seek out new species elsewhere, adopting that species culture and rarely returning to Kanje. Such Drell number in the thousands and are scattered across the galaxy, tending towards quiet, integrated lives. On Kanje, the Hanar afforded the afforded the Drell every opportunity to thrive, 
While outsiders, and even some Hanner, regard the Drell as junior partners, if not actual servants, Drell have integrated themselves into every level of Hanner society as respected, productive citizens. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, their, their past is pretty grim, but at least they seem to be doing okay now. Glad to hear that. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be the result now, though. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. True. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Right. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creep the hell out of me. <laughs> Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself, for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you going to talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. Uh, wait. What? What's it? What's this referring to? You never told me what you talked about. I introduced oh, myself. Oh, what did you say to her? Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's Fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny. Something we don't share. <laughs> it's funny. I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. Um. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. Yeah, that's not what but I was getting at. thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again, thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Good. Okay. <clears throat> well. Anything else? Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Of course. Maybe another time. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to I'll be... I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Okay. Uh, what? Excuse me? What the hell was that? I keep doing that. I don't know, does that happen to other people? Is that a peculiarity of my computer? Or, I don't know. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? Yes. I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sedonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? <laughs> you humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. Hmm. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Um, I, I actually kind of agree. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. 
We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Yeah, of course there is. Old friends and all that. Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sidonis. I'll let you know, Garrett. I'll be here if you need me. Right. We might actually do that next. Because I tend to take Garrus with me on missions, and I guess it would be uh, beneficial to have his uh, loyalty skill unlocked, if nothing else. <clears throat> I mean, it's really... I guess it, I'm free to... Oh, wait. I never found out how to change Miranda's outfit, though. Um, maybe that does work? I mean, since the episode is almost over anyway, might as well go up here and check this real quick. No, that's just for me, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll look that up real quick after the mission. Uh, after the, after the mission, after the episode is over. Um. Yeah. As as for what to do next, I guess I'm free to choose now. I could go back and finally rescan those systems that I that I um, neglected to scan before, looking for for uh, assignments that I can apparently find that way. I could. Actually, I could start here. I mean, of course I want to uh, explore these remaining systems in the sector here uh, on camera. Looking at the planets and all that. Well, I guess we can start doing that. I'm gonna uh, quickly scan the system here. Scan the system's planets and um, make my way to one of the other systems. Okay, here we are in the Zeline system. Let's check out these plans while we're here. Nepima? Nepima? Tidally locked to the star Zeline. Nepima has the expected hot pole and cold pole. Along the Terminator is a thin band of nearly habitable terrain. Nearly. Unfortunately, the local biosphere is based on a chlorinated oxygen atmosphere. It is not sophisticated, but it has proven highly, highly dangerous. The Asari surveyor Viralas landed on Napima in 1684 to study the local ecology. Unbeknownst to the crew, a handful of native chlorine-fixing microbes passed through biohazard screening and entered the ship. The Viralas returned to the port of Nosparnalo on Ilium, where the Nap Napiman microbes escaped into the temperate environment with plentiful unused chlorine. The microbes devoured the, chlor the chlorides in the earth uh, as metabolic byproducts. They produced toxic polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs. By the time the infestation was contained, an area of nearly 30 square kilometers had been eff effectively turned into a toxic waste dump. Nos Pernalo had to be abandoned, accelerating the development of Nos Astra. Well... Nothing to scan here. I have detected an anomaly. So there... she does... she does give me that warning in the screen, so I didn't miss any anomalies before. Strange. I even I even checked online and everywhere I read that you had to actually start scanning. Maybe that's something they patched in later? Hmm. Weird. I'm still going to go back and scan the systems that I think I missed. Or where I neglected doing that. Just in case. Uh, well, anyway, um, Helim is a post-garden world that once enjoyed an Earth-like oxygen-nitrogen atmosphere. It is still blessed with plentiful water, but a generally cold climate and extremely seasonal shift, extreme seasonal shifts, courtesy of a 38-degree actual tilt. Helim, or Helim, is uh, thought to be the homeworld of the Arthen, a spacefaring species with, which disappeared approximately 300,000 years ago. Precisely what happened to Helim's uh, Helheim is still under debate. It appears the global extinction occurred, wiping out all native animal life forms more complex than uh, zoo zooplankton. Zoo zooplankton. Plant forms were not affected, but, but the lack of oxygen breathing life caused oxygenation of the atmosphere. Plant life was reduced after lightning storms uh, ignited global wildfires. The leading theory of Helheim's devastation is an out of control biological weapon. For this reason, landing is strictly prohibited. The corporations of Ilium have emplaced a network of quarantine satellites to dissuade would-be looters from landing on the crumbling cities. In the crumbling cities. Interesting. Detective Corbin, all units report to ready stations for 
possible anti-invasion protocol. Repeat, unidentified ship detected in orbit. All units report to ready stations for possible anti-invasion protocol. Detected in orbit. All units report to ready stations. Interesting. So, even though there should, should be nobody All on the surface, apparently they are, and they did detect us. Well. I have detected an anomaly. Yes, I know. Okay, and it marks that, too. That's nice. Hmm. I'm going to read the rest of the planets here, and then I guess next time we're going to take a look at that anomaly. EFO. EFO is a, a rocky world with an atmosphere of oxygen and carbon dioxide. There are large craters scattered across its surface, obviously from hypervelocity and kinetic impactors. Stretching between these locations are the shattered remains of uh, magnetic levitation rail lines, which strongly suggest the craters represent the former locations of Artheni mining outposts or other settlements. The equatorial region contains an extensive network of canyons formed by the planet's abundant liquid water. Travel Advisory Echo's atmosphere is approximately 41% carbon dioxide at sea level. This level is four to six times that of necessary that necessary to render most species unconscious within a few minutes of breathing it. Breathing masks must be worn at all times when on the surface of EVO. Or EVO. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, no anomaly here. Which would surprise me anyway. I guess, uh, well, it seems unlikely there would be two anomalies in one system. Galon. Galon is surrounded by an extensive ring system. The inner rings are composed pulver composed of pulverized nano-manufactured carbon materials, thought to be the remains of an Artheni Helium-3 mining infrastructure. The few pieces of larger debris found indicate a materials technology at least equal to the current galactic state of the art. The outer rings consist of water ice, silicate dust, and the odd bit of rock. Analysis of the debris often show rock damage and evidence of rapid heating, uh, shock damage and evidence of rapid heating. Some parahistorical theorists insist that the outer rings represent debris from a moon or moons destroyed by mass accelerator bombardment. This has been rejected by every reputable xenoarchaeologist. While it is theoretically possible to destroy a small moon utterly with dreadnought bombardment, no species seen uh, sees a compelling reason to do so. Well, mostly just a waste of ammo, I guess. Okay, no anomalies here. But, well, since it does seem that I was correct with my initial assumption and ED does alert you as soon as you approach a planet basically. <clears throat> I don't I don't think it's actually necessary to initiate a scan, but I'm still going to do that from now on. Well, as I said, uh, yeah the system is now fully explored. We are going to check out Helheim's anomaly next time. As always I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.